a world-class app for your company or are you an aspiring app developer yourself? In either case, here are two new phenomena that will help you take your app global and moreover saves on tons of time on app creation. What are they? Platform as a service and hackathons. Here's a look. Looking for a new place to eat at? Tired of asking around for suggestions and not too sure whether your old favourite restaurant still serves up good food? Well, these IITians have devised just the app for you. Restaurant discovery a la Twitter. What happens is people tweet about something and they want answers from their friends. But uh, on a public platform like Twitter, people want answers from anyone. What we have built is a social media analytics engine which helps them discover tweets which will be related to their queries. So let's say you are asking what's the best thing uh, to have, what's the best place to have dinner at, you can just get some tweets which are not in your network, but they'll come through our engine and you can view them. So far, so good. But their particular app is not available on the Play Store yet, nor is it a web app yet. Why? Because despite being a potential great idea in the making, these are just trial runs of sorts by the duo. This social media discovery app, for example, was just their entry for the hackathon they took part in. They have made many more such apps at different hackathons before. They find that this is the perfect testing ground for their big startup idea. The hackathons uh, allow us to meet people, be part of event and get the builder, uh, builder mentality. So you, you build something, you create it, people like it, that is one thing. You get to meet people. Then you work on interesting technologies and ideas. You listen to other people's ideas. That is also a good thing. So for the uninitiated, what exactly is a hackathon? It is essentially a meetup where programmers gather to code collaboratively over a short period of time and develop on an innovative idea without any project restrictions. At the end of the hackathon or hack day, the apps or programs are pitched to a panel of judges who choose the best. The popularity of these hackathons have picked up in recent years. Hackathon is uh, the best uh, uh, place where everyone with interesting ideas can come together and you have whole day to figure out what you want to do and, 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 and just hack. And it's simple, pure fun. There's no pressure of running a startup. You can explore your hack, come together, different people come together. So, you know, you learn so many things while you're hacking. One is collaborating with different kinds of people together. Second is exploring an idea. You don't have to jump into it. Just do a quick hack and figure out if the idea works or not. Every year it is increasing. Can we have more hackathons? Definitely. Are more hackathons required positively? However, while all agree that hackathons are the best place to test ideas, they feel that the ones in India still have room for improvement. The biggest challenge is uh, once the, uh, the product is built in a hackathon, it doesn't go forward. So uh, there will be multiple questions being asked, you know, people will get demotivated, there's no you know, route for them to go. So uh, we would want someone to take, here, uh, take us from here to, some, to, to the next level. So we are getting stuck here, so this is uh, the third hackathon we won together. There are over 45 participants in this particular hackathon, ranging from those with previous startup experience to those working for corporates and even students who just love coding. Some of them have the basic knowledge of the process of creating an app and some have worked in bigger companies where they only managed a part of the app creation process. But that hasn't stopped them today. All thanks to a new phenomenon particularly targeted at startups and SMEs called Platform as a Service or PaaS. So what is platform as a service? That's the big question. And to answer it, I have with me Mr. Sandesh Bhatt, the VP of India Software Labs at IBM. Sandesh, um, for our viewers, could you explain what exactly platform as a service is? First of all, thank you for the opportunity, Lakshmi. Um, you know, there are millions of uh, developers worldwide. Uh, it's, it's crossing uh, 18 million, to be precise. A uh, lot of these developers are building a lot of innovations on mobile, or innovation on uh, analytics or otherwise. These people need a platform where they can build apps and deploy them quickly and efficiently. You have seen the uh, action out there in the mobile field. Uh, you can uh, download an app that needs to be updated within minutes and hours. Mm -hmm. So speed is critical. Scale is critical. Mm -hmm. Millions of users may be hitting those applications. So platform as a service is a place where the developers could log in mm -hmm. and have all the tools that they require mm -hmm. and all the services that they require to compose these applications quickly, efficiently. So IBM has Bluemix as a platform as a service mm -hmm. launched and we have seen thousands and thousands of developers getting on every day. Okay. 
So um, how does this platform as a service compare to existing solutions that app developers are using currently? So today, um, you know, a lot of uh, developers need to, you know, rely on infrastructure. A lot of times they need to set it up, they need to fine tune it, they need to configure it, mm -hmm. and then they need to download tools to start building applications, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They need to, um, you know, bring their own, um, you know, programming languages that they are comfortable with, et cetera. It's a tedious process, sometimes it takes more time. Mm -hmm. And also they need to find a place to deploy them and then make sure that it scales so that users get the best experience, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Whereas in platform as a service, they already have a number of uh, you know, languages, mm -hmm. programming languages readily available. In Bluemix, we have uh, popular programming languages such as Ruby or uh, Node.js, Java, or if something is missing, they can bring their own, okay. right? And uh, they get to you know, compose these applications using these languages and uh, quickly deploy them. So it's really quick and it scales and it performs. So uh, let me just uh, reach out to the uh, startup ecosystem first before coming back to platform as a service. What do you think, how do you see the current app developer ecosystem in India? We don't really see too many world-class apps from India. So any sense on why that's happening and what could probably help the matter? Well, there are a lot of uh, developers from India do build, I believe, um, very sophisticated applications, but they build them for consumptions uh, of the users and clients worldwide, mm -hmm. uh, not only in India, right? Uh, these uh, developers actually uh, rely on some of the use cases that are evolved in India as well. They use India as a proving ground, and then they build these apps and then deploy them worldwide. It's happening right now, and we specifically see trend where new startups are emerging and uh, these startups uh, are becoming a, a big trend amongst a uh, lot of students uh, graduating. I see a lot of these students want to become you know, entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. They want to become uh, part of these uh, cool startups mm -hmm. and uh, start building innovations. Mm -hmm. See, one of the critical things that uh, you know, Bluemix uh, and the platform as a service bring to the table is for these developers to convert their ideas uh, into innovations quickly and focus only on that, hmm. right? Instead of getting uh, worried about, uh, you know, setting it up, fine tuning it, configuring it, or, you know, scaling it, what uh, storage uh, needed, you know, next year. Mm -hmm. They don't need to worry about all that because the cloud platforms bring you that flexibility and scalability. And that's why Bluemix is something is becoming very popular amongst them. Okay. Um, talking about efficiencies, what kind of operational efficiencies or efficiencies in general can an early stage startup get from using a platform as a service for its app? So um, startups are always under pressure to show their uh, innovations uh, sooner, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, their funds are limited. Even though uh, we have seen a lot of venture capital companies in India uh, focusing on those startups that they want to bet and bringing more funds, but typically these developers in startups don't have a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. So um, they need uh, a platform where they, with minimum investment, uh, they should be able to uh, build apps and test them mm -hmm. and then refine, fine tune them based on the feedback from these users and do it quickly, efficiently, and uh, you know, basically make them you know, successful and uh, getting an edge mm -hmm. over their own competition mm -hmm. is uh, crucial for them. Mm -hmm. So timing is uh, crucial and that's where PASS can uh, you know, allow them to have you know, small amount of time mm -hmm. with the intense innovations, right? Mm -hmm. That's the value proposition. Okay, and um, also talking about a startup's point of view. Uh, say I'm an early stage, sta early stage startup. What people tell me is that you don't need a separate team to do each of these functions once you're using a platform as a service. So how true is that scenario? And in such a case, will it also help in the hiring? Um, so what you will get from platform as a service is a lot of samples are readily available mm -hmm. uh, for these startups. And uh, also they get to share through social capabilities, right? Um, and, and like I said, uh, companies like IBM and uh, other third-party companies and uh, other developers in the community bring these uh, modules and uh, services that are readily available. Mm -hmm. Through application interfaces, 
you get to compose these applications faster. Mm -hmm. So for startups, it's one of those um, that uh, you know is a big attractive uh, value proposition, mm -hmm. right? They don't need to start from scratch. There are you know samples out there. There are innovations out there that they can mm -hmm. build on top of, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so finally, what would you say is the future of PaaS in India, and what kind of impact will it really give, say, in four to five years? Um, I see a PaaS has become an, uh, a crucial value proposition for not only startups, but a lot of students. We have seen the trend of uh, relying on these uh, developer environment that are on the cloud, and uh, there is a huge community around it, right? Um, I would say, you know, majority of uh, developers are already looking at considering them. Uh, economics are working. Uh, it's it's becoming more and more affordable. Every month goes by. Um, pretty soon, I uh, feel you know it becomes the norm, not uh, the exception. Right now, the trend is you know uh, adoption is going on. People are looking at uh, great samples, examples, and getting excited, and they are playing with it. And you will soon see uh, it's becoming uh, industry strength and uh, a norm, right? Well, pass clearly the next leg for app innovation. That's all we have for you. On the other side, the Internet of Things.